In this tutorial, we are going to see how to analyze Likert scale survey using principal components analysis on JASP, which is a free open source software. So the first thing we need to do after we have the data coded like this and imported uh, is that we go to this plus icon and here we need to choose the uh, factor analysis in case it is not visible to us from here. Uh, otherwise, the same for reliability, the same for SAM, etc. So once we choose the factor analysis, we will have it uh, displayed here and then we will have the principal components analysis, exploratory factor analysis, EFA, confirmatory factor analysis, CFA. So I will just choose the principal components analysis and I will have this window where I could put the items here as variables and these items should be either scale or ordinal. So that's why I need to determine them like if I go back to the uh, to the data so here I need to put this as scale or ordinal so all of them should be defined as scale so that this can be computed so I will go back to analyze then factor then principal components analysis so here I would choose the first uh, factor I need to keep I click the first item and then click shift and click the last item so that I select everything like this and I will uh, move it to this uh, side you could see here that we have so this is just for fir first first component you could see here the value the degrees of freedom the p-value the chi-square so here the chi-square uh, can be shown like that I can also put the eigenvalue that is above one and I could have if I have number of factors here like I or components let me just show you this so I have four components I will select the first one and the last one. I will just drag and drop them here. And I have manual, so I have four components to retain. So I will type this manually. And here for the method is that I can choose oblique, which assumes that there is correlation among these variables or constructs. And also I can choose orthogonal that does not assume any correlation between those constructs with the very max rotation. So these are like the most uh, famous ones. So in case I assume that there is no correlation, I could just choose orthogonal uh, method. And here are the items. So basically the famous one is oblique with Promax because these items or those constructs are correlated to form a theory that is called technology acceptance model. So here we want to see to what extent the theory matches the empirical data. So here in the output, I could just increase the display loadings here. Like let's say if I want to be stricter like I could just remove values that are 5 or 0.5 from here otherwise they will keep showing over or cross loadings here so this is how we can do the factor analysis you can see that this item here like AI uh, 5 it does not have loading this means that it has loading that is less than 0.5 which is the threshold that we set here otherwise if we decrease this to zero you could notice but the threshold level is 0.4 so that's why we need to keep 0.4 here so here I can add tables like components correlation residual matrix parallel analysis etc I can also add path diagram and script plot so they will show up here at the end so what else I can add? I can add some assumption tests like the Kaiser Mayer Alkin test, Sversity and Bartlett's test. We have also Mardia's test, etc. So you can see all of them here. So you could also get the path diagram as well that you can copy and paste. So basically, if you want to copy this, you just go here, copy, go to your uh, data, and then you can copy this in the section that is uh, on the validity so you see how it looks this is just an example but anyways so uh, this is in brief how we we can run factor analysis so let's go back to the output and let's try to make some sense of the statistics there so this is the overall MSA the Kaiser Mayer Alkane test of sphericity this is the Bartlett's test of sphericity which is statistically significant this is the chi-square test uh, which is this value normally it should appear as p-value and this is the component loadings you could see like the loadings should not be negative because those items should all load positively in the components 
And here it shows that the applied rotation method is a uh, promax, meaning that there is a correlation, covariance between these constructs or variables or items. Then the component characteristics, you could see the eigenvalue, the proportion variance, cumulative, sum square, cumulative, etc. And the residual matrix here, you could also show it. And of course, you could uh, add it in the interpretation as well. So this is in brief how these are like the output, the eigenvalue or script plot. This is also important in the analysis, like the elbow. So it shows you like what methods or what components to keep. Here we specified already four components, so that's already specified. But it shows you the number of components to retain in case you don't know them. So this is in brief how to run a components uh, analysis or principal components analysis using JASP. And this is in brief how to interpret the results. If you have questions or remarks, do not hesitate to post them below. See you in another video on factor analysis, especially exploratory factor analysis, and another one on confirmatory factor analysis.